I'm joined now in studio by a very special guest. Yulia Dorney is from our sports department here at DW. But we're here to talk about something rather different, mixed martial arts. Uh, arts. You see, Yulia is an expert, and to say that is a gross understatement. You have a medal there, you're a world champion. What does that feel like? It's great, it's just great. It's been my childhood dream since I was very little. And to finally get it, got it, and have it in my hands is like amazing. Just okay, we'll, we'll talk a little bit more about that, but I want our viewers to see what an incredible year you've had leading up to this. Everybody knows now, Yulia is a world champion. This is Yulia Dorney. A few weeks ago, she became the featherweight world champion in mixed martial arts. Here she's back at the Spitfire gym in Berlin for the first time since her victory. Usually, she trains here every day. Boxing, wrestling, jiu-jitsu, judo, they're all part of an MMA fighter's skill set. Protect yourself all the time. Dorney was the reigning European champion when she traveled to the world championships in Bahrain. In the final, she was the dominant fighter, forcing her opponent to tap out in the second round, crowning Dorney as the new world champion. It was a long journey from her beginnings as a judo fighter in Germany's youth national team. This title means everything to me and I finally got it and I've been working for this so hard. Thanks to my team, to Spitfire Gym, to the Edel Bros, to everybody on the way to gold who supported me. Thanks, guys. I love you. Yeah. Here it is. This is what you trained so hard for. The gold medal has brought Yulia Dorni fame and glory, but as an amateur, she doesn't receive any money for her success. I like her enthusiasm for the sport. She's a great ambassador for MMA. Unfortunately, as a female fighter, she's still a rare breed. I hope she can inspire other girls to take up MMA or other martial arts. She's not the only woman who trains at the Spitfire gym, but she's a class above the rest. The head coach says she has a bright future. She's achieved everything there is to achieve as an amateur. We're looking ahead. We're steadily preparing her for professional fights, and I think there is still a lot to come from Yulia. She already trains like a professional, six times a week, with up to four gym sessions on top of that. It's what it takes to be a champion. So, Yulia, it's not every day that we have a guest come in with a gold medal. So why don't you tell us how you got into mixed martial arts? Well, it, everything started with judo, as you heard in the, in the clip. And uh, that was 22 years ago almost. And uh, I don't know, in 2015, I just decided I would like to try MMA. And so I fought, uh, fought at the World Championships. And from there on, the journey began. When you began, did you dream that this would be you here right now at DW with your medal here? No, not imagined. No. What was your vision at the moment when you got into the sport? What was your biggest dream at that point? Yeah, to become world champion. Since it's not Olympic, I cannot be Olympic champion. But the gold is like, yeah, the highest achievement in amateur sports. So the next step is to turn pro, I guess. Yeah. Um, and we heard in the report that this is obviously a very male-dominated field. What's it like to be a woman in MMA? Unique. <laughs> it's great. I yeah. don't know. It's just, yeah, I'm part of the, the male group, obviously. And we train together and we are friends and we help each other. And I mean, there's also females, but they still try to get better and better. So we like big family and help each other. Doesn't matter if male or female. Um, how did your family react when you told them that loved it. I, I want to do this it. for a living? They loved it. Yeah. And they're still supporting you? Yeah, actually they do. Um, so, during the day, as we mentioned earlier, you're here working at Deutsche Welle and you somehow still find time to train for so many hours and become a world champion. How do you do it? Well, it's, uh, you, have to go have, you have to have a good time schedule. So, get up in the morning, train, go work, then go train again. And then also have days off, obviously, and like, just enjoy yourself. Can you give me, what, you know, give me an example of what your schedule would look like on a normal day of work and training? So I get up at seven and I go train for an hour and a half or two sometimes. Then I come here, then I work for like 
eight hours, and then I go back to the gym. And are you still doing that? You've just told me that uh, you're recovering from a surgery, so thank you so much for making it to the studio. Uh, it sounds like you're a superwoman. Would just you say don't, that? Don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I well, wish I was, but I'm not, unfortunately. Well, but I'm just a hard, uh, hard worker, I guess. A hard worker whose, uh, whose work is paying off, clearly. You're now the amateur European and world champion. The obvious question is, what's next? Do you have your eyes set on maybe the UFC? Well, we have a number of options. We are still checking it out, but uh, I'll have a great 2019. That's for sure. Is, it, is that a promise? A great 2019? I feel like you're trying to say that there's something we should be waiting for. Is this an exclusive you're trying to give me? Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, we're not sure yet what's going to happen, but there's something happening, for sure, something big. And my coach said it in the, in the story. Uh, we can be waiting for something. Well, please be sure to come back to DW when you do have that special something in 2019. <laughs> Congratulations, Julia. Thank you very much. Thank you.